Please, Mr. Cannell, you've got to give me another chance. I've given you 97 other chances, Al. Then give me 98. I know I haven't caught many dogs lately. None. And that's unacceptable, especially now. Did you hear about the new law? Uh, what new law? And the mayor's office has announced a crackdown on dogs running around without leashes. Any unleashed dog will be hauled off to the pound, and his owner will pay a steep fine. Oh, good. Odie's always running around without a leash. <gasps> Odie! Garfield! Anyone? Odie's out someplace walking around without a leash. I'd better find him before I get tossed in the pound and he has to pay a steep fine. All right. One last chance, but only because I don't have anyone else. I won't let you down. Oh, for heaven's sake, I'll be driving around. If I see one dog not on a leash, you're fired. I won't let you down. Yes, you will. Oh, I'm so hungry, I could pass out any second. I know I shouldn't have skipped my third breakfast. Hi, Garfield. Huh? How many hot dogs? The usual order? Okay, all of them. I don't know if I can wait any longer. I'm losing consciousness fast. My whole life is flashing before my eyes. There's that lasagna I ate last night. There's the prime rib from last Easter. It's no use. I can't make it. I'm sorry. I'm... I can't... Oh. Quick, Garfield. Eat this hot dog. Hurry. <laughs> you forgot the relish. The park is the best place to find leashless dogs. Yes! Drat. Bingo! Target acquired. 19 more of these and I should be good as new. Hello, puppy. You are under arrest for running around without a leash. It is my duty to advise you of your rights as a dog. You have the right to remain silent and not bark. You have the right to a flea collar, and if you cannot afford one, one will be purchased before any further scratching. Do you understand these rights as I have explained them to you? Puppy? Hey, cat! Did you see where the puppy went? Yes. Hey, that nose of yours could use some of this. No! I can't believe you put mustard all over my nose. You're lucky I don't have hot chili. I'll take care of you, cat, and your little dog, too. Whoa. Come with me if you want to live. You won't get away from me. I'm too smart for you. You see? Dogs aren't the only creatures that can spend all day chasing their own tails. A dog without a leash? That's it! Huh? Oh, please, Mr. Cannell. This is my life. I'm a dog catcher. Not anymore. You aren't. You're fired. You have been goofing off. You've been eating hot dogs instead of catching real dogs. I wasn't eating hot dogs. Don't lie to me. You have mustard all over your face. Shame on you, Odie. Because of you, that nice dog catcher just lost his job. <laughs> all right, let's celebrate. Vito has a special two pizzas for the price of one. Does that sound good? Good. Then I'll eat both and you watch. Where are you going to find anyone else for this job? Anyone can do it. I'm tempted to hire the next person who walks by. Excuse me, have either of you seen a cute little dog around here? You like dogs, do you? Oh, sure. Well, have you ever considered catching them for a living? What do you do? I'm a cartoonist. Oh, well, this is different. This is a real job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so much for Al the dog catcher. I wonder what numbskill they'll get to do that job now. <laughs> You're right. A person would have to be pretty dumb to... Congratulate me, guys. You're looking at the new city dog catcher. <laughs> 
Don't worry, Odie. Jan will be down any minute to feed us. See you this evening, guys. Gotta go catch dogs. Excuse me, breakfast? We'd like some breakfast? John has left the building. Well, looks like we'll have to prepare our own meals. Let's see, I'm thinking lasagna, ravioli, rigatoni, pasta, part of your nutritious breakfast. Fortunately, John left the refrigerator crammed full of food. <laughs> it's time to put an end to John's new career and my new lack of food. <laughs> Three more. So that's where all our food is gone. John's using it as bait. This is not good, Odie. Not good at all. While John's catching dogs, our plates go empty. <laughs> huh? All I ever wanted to be in life was a dog catcher. When I was a small boy, all the other kids would play with dogs. I just wanted to catch them. <laughs> oh. One year for Christmas, my Uncle Nathan gave me the cutest little mm. cocker spaniel you ever saw. It had soft ears and big sad eyes. I threw a net over it and took it to the pound. Cody, <laughs> we've got to get that man his job back, which means we have to get John fired. We need a dog he can't catch. <laughs> you know the old saying I just made up? When you want the perfect dog, get a cat. I know it's here somewhere. Oh, oh, there's that old department store mannequin. That'll come in handy for the final scene in this episode. Right now, I'm trying to find... Ah, remember this, Odie? It's that dog costume I wore back in season one. Remember that cartoon where I ate all that lasagna? Hey, not bad. Arf, arf. Woof, woof. Bark, woof, 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 bark, bark. Bow wow, woof, woof, yip, yip. Didn't know I could speak a foreign language, did you? Hey, this magnet will be useful. Now you stay here. We can't have you walking the streets without a leash. John would lock you up. Okay, I'm off to catch me a dog catcher. Woof, woof, arf. Woof, woof, arf. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Observe the amateur dog catcher, thinking he can attract a dog with a rotten cat impression. Oh well, it's showtime. Ooh. Bark, 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 bark. Missed. So that's how you want to play, smart guy. Wait till I catch you! Watch it! Signor Arbuckle, may I show you to a table? Oh, Signor Arbuckle! No! No to my restaurante! Please! My lovely restaurante! No, 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 no! Look out! I'm sorry. You look like a dog. Oh, no. <laughs> my restaurant! My restaurant! Oh, 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 Vito, that was one of the funniest shows I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, there is a modest cover charge for the entertainment. <laughs> that dog is as agile as a cat. Woof, woof. You're mine. You're wrong. <laughs> okay, time to get caught. <gasps> yep, yep, yep. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm too smart for you. Yeah, way too smart. Ha <laughs> ha. There's the keys to this hotel. <laughs> no, no! Get back in the kennel! Sounds 
like Arbuckle's caught a lot of dogs. Hiring him was the smartest thing I ever did. Oh, Mr. Cannell, I'm sorry. I don't know how all the dogs got away, but... Arbuckle, oh. you're even more incompetent than that idiot I fired. I better get him back while I can. But Mr. Cannell... So, Mr. Cannell not only offered me my job back, I got a raise. The guy he replaced you with, he must have been really terrible. <laughs> I'll say. I wonder what he's gonna do now. <sighs> he's going back to being a cartoonist. <laughs> That's the puppy that got me fired. If he's not on a leash, he goes to the pound. And this time, he can't escape. <laughs> I told you that mannequin would come in handy in the last scene.